Hey everybody, Jeff Glass here. Today is Thursday, the sun is shining. It's a good work day today. And just thinking about the importance of hands-on, blue collar work. And come to my attention several years ago that my generation, I'm 39, uh, first generation in American history where men don't know how to build their own shelter, don't know how to use tools. And I've been thinking about that. And why was this? We were the baby sat generation. We weren't raised out in the yard or in the kitchen as much. We we're being, uh, you know, influenced by other eight year old kids in a daycare. And just thought of the importance of that. I own a couple different companies. One is a very uh, blue collar, dirty, uh, dig in, wear gloves, get your hands dirty type of business. And another one is my, uh, my curriculum, my teaching program. So I really see the importance of owning both. And I remember when I was in college, there was a sign, work smart, don't work hard. And it was a picture of this, uh, you know, executive guy or young guy that, you know, went to college and he's looking all happy. And then there's this plumber. Uh, that's the work, you know, the work smart guy was a happy guy with a degree looking all, you know, wealthy and well put together and enjoying life. And next to him is the, the work hard guy that you're not supposed to be. And that's the plumber, you know, and he's all depressed and, you know, dirty and looks like he hates his job. And what a marketing uh, plan this was by education. And, and we don't look at it that way. Sometimes we don't look at education through the lens of marketing. It has other, you know, aspects to it, of course, but this is one of the biggest that we were hit with is, you know, go to college. If you don't go to college, you're going to end up working at McDonald's. If you're my age, you probably heard that one before. And, uh, you know, we weren't taught, you know, educate yourself outside of college. Maybe you can own a McDonald's. You can buy one. You can buy companies. You can invest. So I've just realized that uh, a lot of that marketing is not true. Some of the wealthiest people I know own blue collar companies and, you know, plumbers. I, I know more wealthy plumbers than I do doctors. Um, just a fun fact. That's, again, my influence raised uh, around, you know, inspectors, building contractors, people in real estate like that growing up. So anyway, um, just wanted to share that with you and you're welcome to share your thoughts on that. But this phrase of work smart, don't work hard. I think both are important. I ask this question in interviews. I ask people, I say, what's more important, work smart or work hard? And I love the answer. I got an answer from a young gentleman named Tim who was interviewing with me one time. And Tim, if you're watching this, man, um, thank you for that. And I asked him during the interview, I said, what's more important, work smart or work hard? And he goes, well, that depends. You know, if it's somebody do my landscaping, I want them to work hard. I want them to get done quickly. I might be paying them an hourly rate. You know, working smart is important too as far as safety, but I really predominantly, I want them working hard. And if it's my heart surgeon, the doctor, I want them working smart. I want them taking their time. So I guess it really depends on what type of work. But, you know, during this recession, a lot of statistics that came out, uh, this last recession that we had, 2007, 2008, there's over one, or excuse me, 3.1 million job openings, less than 12% of them required a college degree. One of them was six figures starting as a Caterpillar repairman. So why are we not teaching this next generation how to build things, how to make things, how to be skilled, how to use their hands? These are some of the most important things that I'm teaching my kids and teaching myself more and more as I get refined out in the process. And we focus so much as parents, oh, I gotta save for my kids' college tuition. How about teaching them a valuable skill? How about teaching them a skill too that their friends or family members won't have that will be a value that somebody might pay them to use that skill. So we gotta think about both sides. Intelligence, but also, you know, skill, which is a type of intelligence as well. So wishing you all a good day and uh, Let's, let's learn how to make something and let's teach our young people how to do the same. Have a good one.